you guys want to sit down for a minute? So was that fun? Were you in a parade? It was kind of a parade, right? You ever do that before? Yeah? Fun to be in a parade. This morning we're going to talk about a parade that Jesus was in. Jesus was in a parade. Today we celebrate Palm Sunday, and that's the day that Jesus was in a parade. Jesus came into Jerusalem. They got a donkey. He rode the donkey down, and people sang Hosanna in the highest, and they laid down palms on the road so that it was special. It was a special parade for Jesus. So this morning, we remember that. We remember that, and you got to be in a parade. And in a minute, you're going to help me hand out the palms for all the people that are here so that we can celebrate We'll bless them and everybody can wave them and we can remember that parade that Jesus was in. And the parade was the beginning, was a happy time, but then right after that, it was a very sad time as we enter into Holy Week because we have Monday, Thursday and Good Friday and we know what happens, but then we have Easter. So, but we're going to remember today the parade because that's the most fun part to remember. So how about if you guys come and Ms. Gifford is going to help us Come on, come on, get some palms. We're going to hand them out. Okay. All right, that's enough. We need to leave some for the choir, okay? You can share them. Yeah, there you go. Everybody get some palms. Okay. Okay. Just take, all right, we need, all right, there's enough. We need to leave some here for the choir. Just take a few, okay? And those who have more can share, all right? Okay. Okay. Let's go. Okay, let's go hand them out to everybody. Don't be stingy. Thanks, Mary. Okay, let's hand them out. Here, we have to give, she only has one little palm. Here, you can have another one, okay? Here, we need to need to do a little bit more than just one or two because we got plenty of palms. Here we go. Here we go. You're welcome. Here, let's share them. Here, we've got Jack. Can I have some of those? Whoop. Share. Let's be a little more generous. Let's be a little more generous. not want to give them up. Here, Kathy, can we give these to, the, to these folks? There you go. Okay. Everybody get some palms? We got more. Okay, Jack. Here, we need to be a little more generous here. Here we go. Exactly. You can bring them back and put them in the basket, and then you can go join your... Make sure you each have some. Make sure you have some. Do you have some? Grab some. Grab some for yourself. Keep some for yourself. And then you can go back with your folks. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Make sure you keep some. Keep some for yourself. You got them? Okay. Well, thank you all for your help. We really appreciate it. Please stand as you're able. And raise your palms. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. We praise you, O God, for redeeming the world through our Savior, Jesus Christ. Today he entered the holy city in triumph 
and was proclaimed Messiah and King by those who spread garments and branches along the way. Bless these branches and those who carry them. Grant us grace to follow our Lord in the way of the cross, so that joined to his death and resurrection, we enter into life with you through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. stand as you're able. As we now enter into the contemplation of the passion of our Lord Jesus Christ and meditate on the salvation of the world through his suffering, death, and resurrection, let us pray. Everlasting God, in your endless love for the human race, you sent our Lord Jesus Christ to take on our nature and to suffer death on the cross. In your mercy, enable us to share in his obedience to your will and in the glorious victory of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Good morning.
morning. Today's reading is for Palm Sunday. The first reading is from the 50th chapter of Isaiah. The Lord God has given me the tongue of a teacher that I may know how to sustain the weary with a word. Morning by morning he wakens, wakens my ear to listen as those who are taught. The Lord God has opened my ear and I was not rebellious. I did not turn backward. I would gave my back to those who struck me and my cheeks to those who pulled out the beard. I did not hide my face from insult and spitting. The Lord God helps me. Therefore I have not been disgraced. Therefore I have not set my face like flint and I know that I shall not be put to shame. He who vindicates me is near. Who will contend with me? Let us stand up together. Who are my adversaries? Let them confront me. It is the Lord God who helps me. Who will declare me guilty? The word of the Lord. The second reading is from the second chapter of Philippians. Let the same mind be in you that was in Jesus Christ Jesus, who though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God as something to be exploited, but emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, being born in human likeness, and being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore God has also highly exalted him and gave him the name that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus every knee should bend in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. To the glory of God the Father, the word of the Lord. Be seated. Excuse me, I need my script. The Passion of Our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Luke. When the hour came, Jesus took his place at the table and the apostles with him. Jesus said to them, I have eagerly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I tell you, I will not eat it until it is fulfilled in the kingdom of God. Then Jesus took a cup and after giving thanks, he said, Take this and divide it among yourselves. For I tell you that from now on I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. Then Jesus took a loaf of bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to them. This is my body 
which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And Jesus did the same with the cup after supper. This cup that is poured out for you is the new covenant in my blood. But see, the one who betrays me is with me, and his hand is on the table. For the Son of Man is going as it has been determined, but woe to that one by whom he is betrayed. Then they began to ask one another, which one of them it could be who would do this? A dispute also arose among them as to which one of them was to be regarded as the greatest. But Jesus said to them, The kings of the Gentiles lord it over them, and those in authority over them are called benefactors. But not so with you. Rather, the greatest among you must become like the youngest, and the leader like one who serves. Simon, Simon, listen. Satan has demanded to sift all of you like wheat. But I have prayed for you that your faith may not fail. And you, when once you have turned back, strengthen your brothers. And Peter said to Jesus, Lord, I am ready to go with you to prison and to death. I tell you, Peter, the cock will not crow this day until you have denied three times that you know me. Jesus came out and went, as was his custom, to the Mount of Olives, and the disciples followed him. When Jesus reached the place, he said to them, Pray that you may not come into the time of trial. Then Jesus redrew from, redrew, redrew with, from them a stone's throw, knelt down, and prayed. Father, if you are willing, remove this cup from me. Not my will, but yours be done. Then an angel from heaven appeared to him and gave him strength. In his anguish, Jesus prayed more earnestly, and his sweat became like great drops of blood falling down on the ground. When Jesus got up from prayer, he came to the disciples and found them sleeping because of grief. And he said to them, Why are you sleeping? Get up and pray that you may not come into the time of trial. While Jesus was still speaking, suddenly a crowd came, and the one called Judas, one of the twelve, was leading them. He approached Jesus to kiss him. 
But Jesus said to him, Judas, is it with a kiss that you are betraying the Son of Man? When those who were around him saw what was coming, they asked, Lord, should, should we, we strike, strike with, with the, the sword? Then one of them struck the slave of the high priest and cut off his right ear. But Jesus said, No more of this. And Jesus touched his ear and healed him. Then Jesus said to the chief priests, the officers of the temple police, and the elders who had come for him, Have you come out with swords and clubs as if I were a bandit? I was with you day after day in the temple. You did not lay hands on me. But this is your hour, the power of darkness. Then they seized Jesus and led him away, bringing him into the high priest's house. But Peter was following at a distance. When they had kindled a fire in the middle of the courtyard and sat down together, Peter sat among them. Then a servant girl, seeing him in the firelight, stared at him and said, this man was also with him. But Peter denied it. Woman, I do not know him. A little later, someone else on seeing Peter said, You also are one of them. Man, I am not. Then, about an hour later, still another kept insisting. Surely this man also was with him, for he is a Galilean. Man, I do not know what you are talking about. At that moment, while he was still speaking, the cock crowed. The Lord turned and looked at Peter. Then Peter remembered the word of the Lord, how he had said to him, Before the cock crows today, you will deny me three times. And Peter went out and wept bitterly.
Now the men who were holding Jesus began to mock him and beat him. They also blindfolded him and kept asking him, Prophesy, who is it that struck you? They kept heaping many other insults on him. When day came, the assembly of the elders of the people, both chief priests and scribes, gathered together, and they brought Jesus to their council. They said, If you are the Messiah, tell us. Jesus replied, If I tell you, you will not believe. And if I question you, you will not answer. <coughs> but from now on, the Son of Man will be seated at the right hand of the power of God. All of them asked, are, Are you, you then, then the, the Son, Son of God? God? You say that I am. Then they said, What further testimony do we need? We have heard it ourselves from his own lip. He released the man they asked for, the one who had been put in prison for insurrection and murder. But this is your hour and the power of darkness. Then the assembly rose as a body and brought Jesus before Pilate. But this is your hour and the power of darkness. Where are we? Just start there. We got the wrong page. No, I have the right page. We found this man perverting our nation, forbidding us to pay taxes to the emperor, and saying that to himself, that he himself is the Messiah, a king. Then Pilate asked Jesus, are you the king of the Jews? You say so. Then Pilate said to the chief priests and crowds, I find no basis for an accusation against this man. But they were insistent and said, he stirs up the people by teaching throughout all Judea, from Galilee, where he began, even to this place. The chief priests and the scribes stood by, vehemently accusing Jesus. Even Herod, with his soldiers, treated Jesus with contempt and mocked him. Then Herod put an elegant robe on Jesus and sent him back to Pilate. That same day, Herod and Pilate became friends with each other. Before this, they had been enemies.
Pilate then called together the chief priests, the leaders, and the people, and said to them, You brought me this man as one who was perverting the people. And here I have examined him in your presence and have not found this man guilty of any of your charges against him. Neither has Herod, for he sent him back to us. Indeed, Jesus has done nothing to deserve death. I will therefore have him flogged and release him. Then they all shouted out together, Away, away with, with this fellow! fellow. Release, Release Barabbas for us! This was a man who had been put in prison for an insurrection that had taken place in the city and for murder. Pilate, wanting to release Jesus, addressed them again. But they kept shouting, Crucify him! Crucify him! A third time, Pilate said to them, Why? What evil has he done? I have found in him no grounds for the sentence of death. I will therefore have him flogged and then release him. But they kept urgently demanding with loud shouts that Jesus should be crucified, and their voices prevailed. So Pilate gave his verdict that their demand should be granted. He released the man they asked for, the one who had been put in prison for insurrection and murder. And Pilate handed Jesus over as they wished. As they led Jesus away, they seized a man, Simon of Cyrene, who was coming from the country, and they laid the cross on Simon. And made him carry it behind Jesus. A great number of the people followed him. And among them were women who were beating their breasts and wailing for him. But Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. For the days are surely coming when they will say, Blessed are the barren, and the wombs that never bore, and the breasts that never nursed. Then they will begin to say to the mountains, Fall on us, and to the hills, cover us. For if they do this when the wood is green, what will happen when it is dry? Two others also, who were criminals, were led away to be put to death with Jesus. When they came to the place that is called the skull, they crucified Jesus there with the criminals, one on his right and one on his left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. And they cast lots to divide his clothing. And the people stood by watching, but the leader scoffed at Jesus, saying, He saved others. Let him save himself, if he is the Messiah of God, his chosen one. The 
soldiers also mocked Jesus, coming up and offering him sour wine and saying, If you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. There was also an inscription over him, This is the king of the Jews. One of the criminals who were hanged there kept deriding him and saying, Are you not the Messiah? Save yourself and us. But the other rebuked him, saying, Do you not fear God, since you are under the same sentence of condemnation? And we indeed have been condemned justly, for we are getting what we deserved for our deeds. But this man has done nothing wrong. Then the criminal said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus replied, Truly I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. now about noon and darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon when the sun's light failed and the curtains of the temple was torn in two then Jesus crying out with a loud voice said father into your hands I commend my spirit having said this he breathed his last When the centurion saw what had taken place, he praised God and said, Certainly this man was innocent. And when all the crowds who had gathered there for this spectacle saw what had taken place, they returned home, beating their breasts. But all Jesus' acquaintances, including the women who had followed him from Galilee, stood at a distance watching these things. The Passion of our Lord Jesus Christ.
come close to the heart of God, we offer these prayers for the church, the world, and all who are in need. We pray for the church, called to follow Jesus in the way of the cross. Make us unflinching servants of the gospel. Deliver us from hardship as we confront the forces of injustice and practice radical compassion. Merciful God, receive our prayer. For the earth and all its inhabitants, created in love, train us to recognize your divine goodness in the world around us. Rouse, us an, as, rouse in us a reverence for creation, that we take greater care of its resources. Merciful God, receive our prayer. For those in positions of authority, called to lead with integrity and compassion, supply them with courage and vulnerability when challenged with new ideas. Deliver them from fear that limits imagination and impedes justice. Merciful God, receive our prayer. For those who suffer, waiting expectantly for mercy and consolation, accompany those who feel abandoned or betrayed, defend those who are wrongly accused, and embrace those who are incarcerated or detained. Heal those who are ill, especially Ginny, Gary, Eleonora, those with ongoing prayer needs, and those we name before you now. Amen. Merciful God, receive our prayer. For what else do the people of God pray? Gracious God, that your peace may encircle the world. For Christians around the world, preparing this week to journey with Jesus to the cross, reveal to us once again the earth-shaking power of humble service, unmerited forgiveness, and sacrificial love. Lead us all from death to life. Merciful God, receive our prayer. We remember those who have died who were commended into your hands. Remember us when we come into your kingdom and prepare a place for each one of us with you in paradise. Merciful God, receive our prayer. Accept the prayers we bring, O oh God, on behalf of a world in need for the sake of Jesus Christ. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you always. And also with you. Please, please stand. Please stand.
Let us pray. God, our provider, you have not fed us with bread alone, but with words of grace and life. Bless us in these your gifts, which we receive from your bounty, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Holy God, our living water and our merciful guide, together with rivers and seas, wells and springs, we bless and magnify you. You led your people Israel through the desert and provided them water from the rock. We praise you for Christ, our rock and our water, who joined us in our desert, pouring out his life for the world. the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. Pour out your spirit on this holy food and on all the baptized gathered for this feast. Wash away our sin that we may be revived for our journey by the love of Christ. Through him all glory and honor is yours. Almighty Father, with the Holy Spirit in your holy church, both now and forever. Amen. And gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray the words our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Here is food and drink for the journey. Take, taste, and be filled.
bless you and keep you always in his peace. Amen. Let us pray. Compassionate God, you have fed us with the bread of heaven. Sustain us in our Lenten pilgrimage. May our fasting be hunger for justice, our alms a making of peace, and our prayer the song of grateful heart. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for a couple of announcements, just a couple. I'm not going to read you the announcements that are in the back of the page. You see we have Holy Week services happening at 7.30 on Thursday and again on Friday. Easter egg hunt at 9.15, gather at 9.15, the hunt will start at 9, and, or 9.30, and the worship will start at 10. Um, just a quick note, I know it seems like it's far, far away, but Caitlin has asked me to remind you that the Peach Festival is coming up, and we, uh, it's a huge undertaking, and we need someone to stand as our leader in that uh, festival. So please, um, there's a sign up, there's a sign up back there, Search your hearts and souls, and um, maybe someone will step up to be the leader. And now let's stand for our sending hymn. The blessing of God Almighty, the wisdom and power of Christ Jesus, and the light of the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always.